wouldn't you know it, I got punished by the very thing I warned about in like w either the very past video or the video just before that. Uh, so in that video I went over, I was playing some uh, John Covet Spies with a little bit of a tweak on the deck. Uh, I'm using these uh, Impair Enforcers or whatever they're called. And I said, you know, you don't want to set up too many of your Impair Enforcers or otherwise your combo pieces too soon and fall behind on tempo because you, because then your opponent will pass on you and you won't get effective use out of those combo pieces. And, uh, you know, you don't want to fall fall behind on tempo and you don't want to get past this. But, yeah, you know, <laughs> this was like the first game of the day. I'm just playing casual. I'm not all interested in playing at the moment. Uh, I just made a dumb mistake. But in this very... In this uh, in this game, you can definitely see like firsthand that it's not just a theoretical play around. It's a very real thing that will uh, that w you will be punished for. I'm just like I, I was actually kind of surprised because I wasn't thinking. In general, I wasn't thinking, but I especially didn't think I was going to be punished uh, against like full tests in this day and age. <laughs> I was just thinking like this is just going to be a pretty generic full test deck. We're both just going to play our cards out, try and make round one go out as long as possible, you know, try and wrestle control of that. And then, you know, round three will be a battle of like one or two cards or something like that. <sighs> right. So he has a pretty big lead on me right here. Uh, I just go for my spy. I go for the regular spy because I have double synergy coming on my side of the board. I, I get greedy. I go for the imperial enforcer. I play it down. And I am two points behind. Two points and one card. Super important as well. I am a card behind right now because I went first. Uh, he played one, two, three, right? Wait, he went first. No, I just played three. Ugh, I need to double check this just in case. I can So yeah, I did go first. Okay, that's what I thought. It. So how do you play three cards then? Am I just being dumb right now? It's one, two. Then he plays two. Oh, okay, okay. So he played a reinforcement. Okay, that's where that's where I was getting wrong. I was like, well, how did you play three cards if I went first? All right. Okay. So yeah. So I went first. So I made a double mistake. Uh, for some reason, I didn't take into account that I went uh, that I went first. I should have played more something like Rainfarn or John Calvate instead. Because uh, actually, if I would played John Calvate in the exact same play with the uh, with the spy, would have been I would have been two points over. And he wouldn't be able to pass on me. So he got a double bonus. Not only does he get to eliminate three parts of a very crucial part of my combo, but I'm also gonna go two cards down. So just by just by being three points under him right here, <clears throat> I lose the game. That's it. I just lose. The game is lost. I could just forfeit right now because it wouldn't matter. Assuming he doesn't play any catastrophic, uh, catastrophic mistakes, I just lose. I lose huge parts of my combo. Uh, and I kind of like, if you kind of saw the mouse move right there, I was like, oh, what? Because yeah, he totally got me because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, it's so frustrating. It's so dumb of me to make such a mistake like that. Like, because I need to be able to be in the habit to where I don't make those kind of mistakes, even if I'm not paying attention. And I'm not to that point uh, yet. And that's pretty disappointing. Granted, he played pretty well in the sense that he got a lot of tempo out on these two cards. He played full test first to set up all the rest of his cards. And then he played out uh, John Talis, which is a little bit early, but it reinforced out the other guy, which means uh, he got a lot of tempo out and he kind of uh, maybe he just unintentionally punished me. I think more than anything, I just really should have changed up my game plan. I shouldn't have just gone for Justice Buy. That wasn't going to be enough, especially since I went first. I think that was kind of my my mindset. I thought I was going second or something. Maybe because I got confused, like I just now got confused about the John Talis and the uh, and then the unit, the reinforcement. Uh, but still, dumb mistake, and I just lose the game. I'm not going to uh, narrate the rest of this because a lot of it is kind of boring. It's just me, just basically, like I said, just losing the game. I opened the Spy. It's a pretty solid opener. I'm going to try and bleed out as much of him as possible. If I'm going to win this game uh, and set with such a deficit, it's going to be because I'm able to uh, ruin his combo and then somehow come out on top on the last plays. 
But you know, just even though this this deck I'm playing is pretty flexible and it does allow for some pretty good bursts and some pretty good tempo control, it's not going to ever beat you know full test uh, Northern Realms burst. It just won't. So the best I can do is just try and bleed out as much as possible. I try and keep control of the round. Uh, it may have been a bit preemptive for me to use Meno there, but I think I was thinking. I wasn't going to get many opportunities to get that off anyway, so I might as well just use it now. That was probably a mistake, too. I probably should have tried to wait until I got a uh, Infiltrator, use it on the Seed Support, and then kill, Menno, kill it with Menno. Oh, yeah, and then more, more disaster. I first light into an Imperial Golem. Speaking of which, I went up into a really annoying game today in which uh, it was like we went to round three against... Go a Tau. They were playing, um, I guess they were playing Spell Tau. And then they played freaking first, uh, Biting Frost. And then I, like a dummy, I go and use my first light, and then they use the Gold Weather right after, and I just had to forfeit. Cause it was, we still had like seven cards left, and I had no mages, so it was so unfortunate. Weather well, can be a tricky thing to deal with. I think I still would have lost anyway, but that's another game. I didn't think it was interesting enough to record, but weather can be really tricky. Especially if you don't bleed out correctly. That's kind of the thing. Like, weather gets significantly more good. It gets a lot better, I think, in the lower ranking you go. Because it's a lot more difficult to deal with. The counter. But then it gets less and less good as you go up higher. So, that's pretty much it. I use up all the cards I feel I can. Uh, I, push it, I push and push and push as much as I possibly can. I save as here because it's a good ten strength. <clears throat> excuse me, it's a good ten strength body, and then I save my rain farm because I can potentially pull out a spy. Uh, unbeknownst to me, I didn't actually have a spy left, which is kind of dumb. Or wait, do I not? I, don't I put Joachim, Joachim back in? I sure hope I did. One of these games, I used rain farm at the very end, and he ended up not pulling anything in the lost game, which was sad. Uh, so I can't use Eskel on anything. I'll just go ahead and use rain farm. Okay, so I do a bulk call. Oh, but does Yakin pull nothing? No, okay, it's good. That was yeah. That's how the combo should go. Like this should this is the perfect round three combo that I was looking for. It was Azir, bring back Roach, possibly Yakim, possibly a bronze uh, bronze unit if I need. And then I play Rainfarn, and this is thirty eight points right here. Just two cards, thirty eight points. That's better than that's better than Crones and uh, Crones and. Uh, What's it called? Commander Sworn. 15. Yeah, it's better by three points. It's better than Crones and Commander Horn, which is pretty surprising considering that's a pretty heavy combo. This combo is even heavier. It worked out just right, too. To pull uh, Nausicaa Brigade. I wasn't particularly planning that, but it kind of happened. I have only two cards left. And then he freaking pulls out the Witchers. Ah. And then this uh, my Eskel is completely useless because of full test. He hard counters this card. Uh, cause he, I believe, um, I don't remember if exactly, but I don't think full test buffs gold units and this can't use it on gold units. And it like all my only other option is like spies, but it can't really use it on spies. So this card is like practically completely useless in the full test matchup. Uh, actually in an earlier game when I was playing against full test, they didn't use full test immediately. And I was able to use Eskel on their seat support, which is a bit of a mistake on their part. But still, yeah, and then, you know, he just, he, he, it doesn't really matter what he plays. Anything that he plays is just going to win him the game, practically. And just go ahead and forfeit. So, yeah, that was, uh, just, like, going back to, like, that one, that single point in the game, I knew I almost guaranteed my loss. Even with the strongest my last combo was with Azir and Terrain Farn, which is a really terrifying combo if you're going up against it. It just, it, it was never, it, was, it wasn't going to be enough. Can't be enough. Uh, still though, it was relatively close. I think if he had like a really dead card, like a Reaver Scout or something like that, I might have been able to win that, but that's kind of helpful thinking. I just, I shouldn't have used all so much of my combo pieces early and then not be able to follow up on the tempo. Even if I was able to pass that tempo, that's still a pretty good pass for him because I used three, I used up three parts of my comp, like a very vital part of my combo. Uh, and he basically gets to destroying them all and he still goes only, um, and he's one card up going into round two and three. So it's just, it's kind of partly going first, partly kind of a mistake, partly just like, ugh, just, 
I need to not do that in the future. Not play all my combo pieces. Like I was so like intent on like drawing out the round that I completely you know overlooked the fact that they can just pass at any time and then I'm screwed. That's that. So just a very good example of myself getting punished for making a mistake. Uh, a mistake that I very specifically called out before. Do you think it's the funny part? <laughs> How could I not listen to my own lessons? Do I not watch my own videos? <laughs> Thanks for watching.